this year you made a press release on women in prison. Can you summarize us the message of this? Yeah, what we wanted to study was how many women are in prison for drug offences across the European and Central Asian region. And uh, what we found was that about one in four of all women in prison uh, in the, that region are there for drug offences. Uh, defined in, in our case as possession, uh, sale, trafficking and so on. Uh, we didn't include acquisitive crime uh, in order to, to, to buy drugs and so on because that would multiply the number. And what we found was that there's over 30,000 women uh, in prison across the region for drug offences. Um, it's, it's 28% um, of, of the entire number. Some of the standout findings, however, uh, the big one w was Russia. Russia incarcerates more women for drug offences than the entire European Union combined. Uh, more than twice as many as the European Union combined. And it has about half the population of women. Um, in fact, Russia incarcerates more women for drug offences than all f other 50 countries that we looked at combined. Uh, about 20,000 women. There are many countries where more than 40% of all women in prison for drug of, uh, or in prison are there for drug offences. Uh, Sweden, over 40%. Uh, Portugal, uh, 46%. Um, although that figure is coming down, and it would be interesting to see how maybe successes in decriminalising personal possession might be able to move towards uh, trying to divert women involved in sales and uh, and trafficking, particularly couriers away from from incarceration as well. Spain. Um, which has a known problem with uh, drug mules um, from Latin America, incarcerates uh, twice as many women for drugs as neighbouring France, but has about 10 million less women in its population than France. Um, and some other standout figures like that, uh, Italy and, Port and Greece uh, had, had significant problems as well. So across the region we, we, we thought that there was considerable cause for alarm, which is why we, we named the title that, and uh, we'll be doing more research in future to, to understand those numbers and to, to dig deeper at a national level. Do you have any recommendations to government delegates here at the CND? We made four broad recommendations without getting into too much detail. I think it's uh, things that colleagues of ours would have said many times over. We talked about decriminalizing personal possession across the board. Uh, we talked about uh, mitigating factors for more serious crimes to divert women uh, away from uh, incarceration. We talked about a presumption against incarcerating mothers and acting always in the best interest of the child. We felt that it was important to mention recommendations at the end. We'll, we'll get into more detail in future uh, research.